again. Difficult times are upon us. But it's not time for despair, guys, because we have some good news. And they're coming from Team Red Miner. They have a new version, 0.9.4.7 beta or something. And they have released a new R mode. And with the new R mode, we have some really good things, especially if you own 5700 XT, 5700 or 5600 XT. I don't have 5700 XT, so I will be focusing on 5700 XT and 5700. And the news are really good. So they have released this new mode that allows you to downclock to 1050 megahertz and go below 7 millivolts. And this in turn has some great stuff. Look at this 5700 XT's nitros and pulses. All of them below 80, some of them below 70 watts. 55, 56 hash rate. The first one is power color and it's shit, so it only goes down to 93. But the rest, amazing. And this news, nobody's addressing this because everybody are happy with the LHR unlock and other things. So nobody's paying attention to the great things these guys did. You can drop like 10 to 15 watts on each of the cards. This is huge. This is huge. I mean, I'm so happy with 5700 XTs now. I'm st I still have some tuning to do. But uh, look at this. 11 hours. Okay, I have one in value chair. I need to tune this. But look at the hash rate and look at the power draw. And this is amazing. This is amazing. It's still in beta test. So you need to do some things... To, to get the miner, I will show you how in HiveOS, and this is only for Linux. Uh, they don't think they will be able to have our mode on Windows, so you guys, I recommend you using Linux if you're not. And I will show you guys how to do it. So you go to flight sheet, you can edit your own flight sheet that you have, or create a new one, or, or whatever you want. So select coin, uh, wallet, uh, pool, and then go to setup, um, so select the miner, type in custom. You have to type in custom and then you will have this and then you click show all and then you go and select custom it's a bit weird i know but that's how you do it and then you go to set up the miner uh, you need to put this link i will leave it in the description of the video as installation url otherwise you can just select the latest version of the of the miner from the list but the high os has been so slow these days that it's pro uh, pro practically impossible to download anything through it so I recommend you doing this. So you select this installation URL, uh, select hash algorithm, put your wallet and worker name, pool, pass, and then add this extra config argument. I will put this in the description as well. This is very important. So you do this, you apply, update all workers, and the flight sheet will update. After the flight sheet uh, updates, you need to restart the, the rig because it, make, it needs to make some changes. Very important thing. Before you run the, the rig again, you need to change the core to values between 1000 and 1050. If you leave like your regular cores of 1300, it might uh, crash or create some problems or slow down. So make sure that your core is set. Uh, 1000 is a good starting value. Set it to 1000. And then slowly down, down volt. So I, I guess uh, some cards are better than the others. As you can see, I, um, I was able to download uh, down volt or under volt uh, some of the cards better than the others. But I think 700 milli uh, volts is a good starting point, and then just go six milli volts at the time down. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to change memory clock. It works the same. You can you, you just get additional 15 watts free uh, freed up from 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 every card. 10 cards that's like 150 watts for just for training the miner. And this is unbelievable. And it's a still beta and it works great. So I don't know why nobody's talking about this. It's really weird. I mean, I I'm 
really happy about LHR unlocker, but this uh, this is huge. This is really huge. So this also works on Vegas. I have some Vegas here. I, I was unable to, didn't have time to tune them all. It's not as big as a gain as with 5700s, but you can still gain something. Uh, the same procedure, and this is what you can do. You can down uh, undervolt the core to 900 to 950, depending on the card, which is really low, and that lets you go under 800 millivolts on Vegas, as you can see here. And uh, if you if you have um, memory over 960. It's a bit more difficulty to undervolt, like in my case, but if your memory is 960, then you can go even lower So uh, in, uh, in power consumption. So that's really good. I will probably make a separate video on Vegas, but this is what you have. Like, this is still good. 101 watts, 96 watts. Okay, this one is 116 watts, but uh, this is my uh, liquid cooled Vega that hashes like 56 hash rate without any problems and the core is now 960 only so this is really good i'm really happy this uh, helped me like remove five watts from each card and i still didn't tune it like uh, to its full potential i will do that in the next days and uh, the other cards uh, are not gaining that much except radeon 7 i don't have any to test but you can get a few mega hash rate uh, polaris cards are not affected by this and Six um, thousand series is also barely affected, but if you have 5700 XT or 5600 XT, you gain a lot with this. So I encourage you guys to try. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, uh, and please share, like, and subscribe videos so as more people as possible uh, get to know this and remove the power consumption because summer is coming, electricity prices are up, and this is really great news for all of us that have AMD cards. Uh, that's it guys. See you next time. Bye-bye